interview questions and solutions. I really thanks to everyone who is watching this video. Explain the behavior statistic data item. What is meant by statistic data item in Blueprism? Usually we all know global data items, but most of us don't know statistic data items and its purpose. The statistic type of data item is intended to capture some values from your process and to store them within a database table such that they could be analyzed by external reporting tools for management information purposes. Main purpose of statistic data item is to create MI reports. Management information is important for every organization. Through statistic data let's achieve miles. Therefore, when you create a statistics data item such as this one called test stent, then you will see the result in the statistics pane in an interactive client. The data will be stored in the table called the statistics in your database. A statistics table is most important table for me related information. How it look like? Test stat. Test stat. When you get the values for a statistics table, it's already involved the field session ID, name and data type as well. You can search based on name field in which you assign name as test stat. Question 2. What are the Blueprism supported accessibility layers? Test stat. Blue Prism is designed to work with the supporting accessibility layer which is programmed into most modern applications and many legacy applications. Blue Prism currently supports the following accessibility layers. Small Bullet. Microsoft Active Accessibility is supported in all versions of Blue Prism. Small Bullet. Microsoft User Interface Automation I supported in Blue Prism v6.2. Small bullet. Web Accessibility Feature is in supported browsers Y area. Current only Internet Explorer is supported for all version of Blue Prism. Small bullet. Java Access Bridge Jab exposes the Java Accessibility App to automation software. Supported in all version of Blue Prism with the correct JAP version for the installed Java software. Small bullet. SAP We scripting utilizes the inbuilt SAP VBS CRIPT automation features to interact with basic SAP controls. Supported in all Blue Prism versions. Through these accessibility layers, Blue Prism is able to implement a number of spy modes which simplify the process of identifying elements of the visible and sometimes the invisible aspects of the user interface which you are seeking to automate. It is intended to be a point-and-click type of operation to replicate the actions of a user of the application. What are the consideration of Blue Prism execution speed? While developing a Blue Prism process or object, the execution speed is sufficiently fast. As an example, inserting text into a text field element takes less than a second. When that same process and or object are deployed in an environment with more components, that is a Miss SQL Server database, a Blue Prism application server and numerous runtime resources, the execution time takes longer to perform the same activities. Considerations There is no intrinsic difference in the execution method of the Blue Prism software's code in any of its components when distributed compared to when now running on one machine. There are, however, Many environmental factors that can, can account for the variance between execution speeds in a full deployed environment as opposed to a single machine. Here are factors to consider. Small bullet. Network is there identifiable network latency between any two components? 
Does the network connection between application server and runtime resource have a low latency less than 20 ms and have a low packet loss percentage? To what extent do packets get routed from one machine to another across the network? Fewer hops is often faster. Are the configured ports subject to firewall and router rules? Is there any port scanning software in operation between components? Is there any other software running over the network that takes priority? Small bullet. Architecture to what extent are machine dedicated to specific roles? Does the runtime resources have sufficient memory, CPU power and disk space to perform their activities efficiently? Are any of the machines virtualized? What is the load on the application server at the time when the process is active? How many runtime resources are configured to connect to the application server and how many of them are simultaneously active? Small bullet. Database what is the potential for network latency or restricted bandwidth between the application server and the SQL server database? Are there any other applications connecting to the same SQL server? Are there any other applications running on the SQL server that could be slowing it down? Is the SQL server running multiple instances on the same server machine? Is the SQL server an operating system versioned up to date? Small bullet. Runtime resources. What is the potential for network latency or restrictive bandwidth between the application server and the runtime resources? Do the runtime resources exclusively run a single process? Are, are there multiple processes or sessions running simultaneously on the same resource machine? Are there multiple Windows user sessions running on the same runtime resource? Are there other Windows processes which consume significant CPU, memory or disk resources running on the runtime resource at the same time as the process is running? Small bullet. Hardware. What is the difference in hardware specification between the runtime resource in the standalone environment and the one used in the deployed architecture? Do the machines have different hardware in terms of the type of network card, CPU model or disk speed? Small bullet. Virtualization. Do the specifications of the virtual machine match the standalone machine? Can the virtual machine hypervisor host meet the demand? Is there more than one virtual machine running on the machine? When everything is installed on a single physical machine, there is negligible latency between Blue Prism and the other components that it interacts with. In contrast, when a process is running on an environment that uses a distributed architecture comprising a SQL server database, a Blue Prism application server, several runtime resources, may be using virtual technology and network load balancing, then there is inevitably going to be a delay as there will be latency between these components. If you are using virtual machines for the runtime resources, and these are located on the same machine as the Blue Prism application server, whether a physical or virtual machine, then this will reduce the memory, processor, and hard drive capabilities, and this needs to be taken into consideration. Thanks.